Oh well, yes, this is me dancing on a New Year Eve party in Dubai. I visited this beautiful place and I absolutely loved it. So when I came home, I was so inspired, I've decided to create a piece. A piece based on my impressions of Dubai. There's a lot of gold because there's a lot of shiny gold all over the place. Some Arabic calligraphy, some feel of desert, the heat, the warmth and ornaments. And then I received a lot of questions about this work and now I'm happy to show you how I've created it. Well, but before we jump in, let me just remind you that this is Maria Grossbaum from Abyssima Mixed Media Online School sharing with you today a new exciting tutorial. And if you don't have any ideas how to do it, just follow my steps and you will be fine. So previously I showed you a watercolor paper that I'm using, which is 300 gram. It is cold press. Uh, it is 100% cotton. This is what I chose, but it doesn't matter. You could choose any other paper. Although I have to tell you that watercolor paper brings better, brings more beautiful results because of its texture. I really like to keep it simple and to be very, very clear in my instructions. I also like using what I already have on hand, so I don't spend millions of dollars, pounds, euros, or whatever currency you are using on art materials. So I'm right now attaching a watercolor paper to the cardboard. So use any cardboard or use any sturdy surface to attach your paper with regular masking tape because you will have to rotate your working area and having your paper on the board makes it very simple and very easy. All right, so for the first step, we are going to use any water-based colors. I'm going to use my favorite watercolor paints by French company Sennelier. I really like these paints because they're very bright, very deep, and uh, the technology didn't change for 100 years and only natural materials are used in these paints. I really like these facts about Sennelier. Now, if you don't have Sennelier, it's fine. First of all, I'm going to put links to all the products that I'm using under this video. If you really want to invest in your creativity, I really encourage you to buy these uh, particular paints. But again, if you don't have it, use what you have on hand. Any water-based colors, which are gouache, inks, acrylics, uh, tempera, acrylic inks, and so on. Technically anything, but not oil paints. All right. And as you can see, using thick uh, flat brush, I'm creating some colorful spots, some colorful back ground. So at this point, you probably want to look again at the model painting. So here it is. At the upper part, we have golden ornaments, so gold on gold. And the bottom part, like about uh, a little bit more than a half, we have this colorful play of calligraphy and some splashes and so on. So this is what I'm focusing on right now. And here I'm introducing a new product. In order to make connected the upper part and the bottom part, I want also to splash a little bit of golden pigment. And I really like using Windsor and Newton uh, golden ink, although I had some troubles opening it. Well, voila, I just did it. So again, let's keep everything simple and just dip your brush in the container and then draw some kind of uh, golden spots, golden kind of uh, things and then add some water, then change an angle of 
your uh, paper, let everything bleed, play again, add more. If you add it way too much or your background is too dark, you can absorb it with a toilet paper or paper towel, the usual, right? But if you are new to me, just see what I'm doing and try to follow my steps, okay? The idea is just to create some interesting flowing uh, background and then uh, we will draw some calligraphic ornaments okay something very um, abstract yet um, still recognizable as an Arabic theme this is really meditative process and I really don't want you to rush take your time apply more, more water, apply more colors, see how your colors are traveling on the surface. It, it is a very enjoyable, very meditative, relaxing activity. A true art therapy, right? Mmm, love it. Also, while your uh, surface is still wet, you could splash some water or some pigments and then by changing an angle, let everything bleed and it will create another interesting effect. Just keep in mind not to make your surface too dark, otherwise the calligraphy uh, signs are not going to be visible. And also keep in mind that when paints are dry, they look more pale, all right? Well, if you are satisfied with your art therapy when you were creating your background, now let's take a look at beautiful Arabic alphabet. Now, I'm going to uh, get inspired by these characters, but you don't have to follow my design, of course. You could use any other characters, from hieroglyphs to Latin to African, whatever you like. But because my work is inspired by uh, Dubai and Arabic culture, so this is what I'm going to use. So I really like this um, kind of like a curvy lines, thick and thin width of the lines, the diamonds, and all this I'm going to use in uh, the abstract part at the bottom part of my uh, painting. It is also important uh, to mention that I'm not going to copy letters. I'm going just to get a f to you know to bring the feel of them you know by repeating specific uh, lines and shapes but I'm not going to copy these letters because my uh, aim is just to um, convey you know my impression to uh, to only hint that it is an Arabic thing because I think this is how this is my approach this is how I see it so right now I'm showing you my background that already dried and before creating an abstract with uh, calligraphic shapes I'm going to try on a separate piece of paper and I also encourage you to give it a try before you play on a beautiful background that you've created all right so for my purposes, I'm using a thick, uh, excuse me, uh, the flat brush because this will help to convey some of the lines. Okay, I'm also not um, not concerned when uh, I don't have like a full wet color. Sometimes it could be partly, you know, dry, and I think it's cool, you know. And some uh, shapes are going to be overlapped. It's all all good. Okay, so again, I encourage you to give it a try before you play with your characters on the background. So at this point, I'm going to speed up the video a little bit, okay, so you don't get bored. And I'm also going to try uh, using different uh, brushes because I think fig brush is actually is going to work really well and will allow me to create more expressive uh, signs. Well, 
now I feel that I'm ready. This is very, very exciting. It is very, it gives me a lot of adrenaline, really, because once every, something's done, I won't be able really to fix it. I can start from the beginning, of course, right? But I already love my background so much. I don't want uh, to destroy it. Okay, so as you can see, like I'm thinking, right? I'm kind of trying to imagine my movement before I actually apply it. Yay, this is exciting. I'm not really liking what I'm doing, but I'm not giving up. I actually think that uh, this particular method, this exercise, you know, to find specifics in these characters and be able to convey them in uh, an abstract way is really a great skill to master because it really helps you to uh, learn how to focus on uh, specifics. You know what I'm saying? I hope I was clear. Well, I think it's okay. Well, um, it's not... Yeah, okay, I think... Yeah, that's it, that's it. So um, maybe I will retouch uh, things here and there uh, afterwards, but right now I'm quite happy with my creation, even it looks quite messy. So now I'm back to my beautiful uh, golden uh, ink and I'm going to apply it on the other side of my painting. Now I forgot to mention that if, if you don't have to, uh, if you don't have this specific product, you could substitute it with any golden or silver or any other uh, metal uh, paint like um, metal acrylics or other type of uh, inks or tempera and I know that there are actually uh, even watercolors that have metal uh, pigments okay especially koi watercolors that I also adore a link to koi watercolors will be also attached under this video and I strongly recommend to paint with them so right now I don't have much really to say except for I'm just trying to apply uh, golden uh, pigments as smooth as possible and flat brush is quite handy for this purpose. So I've created the semi-sphere and I find it to be honest quite boring so I'm going to get in with my golden paint and to break a little bit this semi-spheric horizon my abstract my rules so as you see I'm gently working around this diamond because I want to keep it Well, that's it. I like it so much more rather than having a continuous horizon. Okay, so now I'm going to introduce to you this really cool project. If you have done with me other exercises, other tutorials, then uh, you probably are familiar with this one. But if not, let me tell you a bit about this product. So let's take a look again at model painting and I'm showing you here that golden gold area is actually created with two different golds. There is a background that we already applied and there is also an ornament that is embossing. It's a three-dimensional uh, ornament and that's what makes it so, so cool. So this particular tube that I just showed you, the gilding paste, is a uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> I just wanted to say that this paste allows us to create three dimensional uh, lines and ornaments okay so 
the link of this beautiful product is going to be mentioned as well under this video and I strongly encourage you to give it a try and uh, play with it. So I'm using my previous piece of paper where I tried uh, to create this abstract uh, calligraphic play and right on top of it I am showing you what it looks like when you apply this paste. So it has a thin tip and this demands some practice. You need to find a right pressure, a continuous pressure, squeeze out a paste and at the same time to be able to create an ornament. Okay, so mixed in relief paste, strongly recommended. Check out the list of materials underneath this video. Okay, so now I'm ready to actually apply this paste on my beautiful golden background. If you need an inspiration for the ornament that also has this oriental, uh, this Arabic feel, you're more than welcome to try and find it in uh, Pinterest, for example. Uh, I am uh, creating this ornament just, um, you know, out of my imagination. It is also quite an exciting um, situation because if I make a mistake, I can only apply some other elements in order to save a situation. So applying this paste definitely requires a previous experience. So I um, suggest to gain um, confidence first and then once you're ready, then to go and paint on your final artwork, okay? It is also very important to stay as basic as possible. As you see, I'm using simple shapes, simple lines, circles and some curvy lines. So I'm trying to create some kind of a floral kind of ornament. I don't even know if it's Arabic enough, but um, gold on gold will look quite uh, Islamic to me, you know, so I think it's going to be good enough, okay? And um, yeah, just have fun with this. It's a lot of fun, I'm telling you, especially when you apply shiny gold on it, which I'm going to show you how soon. Now, I have quite a few um, free and paid classes where I use this particular product. So if you enjoy it, check them out and um, get more experienced. I have to say that to me, this particular product creates wow factors. When people look at your painting and they're like, oh my gosh, how did you do this? This is so sweet, I love it. I really want to know how this was created. So again, it is very important, try to be as simple as possible and gradually feel out the whole uh, golden area with uh, ornamental details. Well, I think I like it, so maybe a couple of more tiny details and I am done. Now, it is important to let it dry and it might take time. If you applied a lot of paste, then uh, it needs um, longer time to dry. Now, I waited for about um, 30 minutes and as you can see, some areas became transparent. Now when I touch it, nothing sticks to my hand. So the paste is ready and now I'm showing you here another beautiful product that goes together with the paste. It's the same um, same company, uh, GDO, and they create this really, really beautiful gold leaf. It's called Gold Mirror Effect and it is really, really amazing. That's a real wow factor because it creates absolutely beautiful, um, very, very shiny 
uh, golden uh, surfaces okay and I'm using also um, a piece of um, what do you call it not the toilet paper the, uh, the paper towel pressing lightly with rounded movements just um, uh, uh, pressing and applying this gold so check it out you see you see you see that's what I was talking about now we have beautiful golden ornament and you can see on the other side of the gold leaf that some gold just uh, went off okay so I'm using another area and repeating my step pressing lightly rounded movements and uh, imprinting this gold onto this um, sticky uh, sticky ornament that I've created with gilding paste mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy it now some people say oh it doesn't work for me I don't know what is happening well some people don't uh, use a right side of the mirror effect sheet so you need to make sure that golden part the golden side is facing up just when you thought that it's all over well it's not here is a very very important last touch to this artwork i'm talking about adding some gradients with gold colors to the golden part of this artwork why i'll tell you why because this will make this golden part the golden gold look even more attractive more wow it's all about wow isn't it so here's what i do i'm using watercolors mostly purple blue brown ish yep yeah this three and i'm finding a sharp corner and then i am creating a gradient from uh from intense tone to zero okay it is really easy to create on this golden background now very important to remember that okay stay with me that once the color dry it becomes really really pale it happens because golden flakes in this metal background they're kind of coming up okay and uh, colorful tones of the watercolors colors are sinking okay so I'm saying this because you might be oh this is too strong this is too dark no worries no 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 worries okay in case you applied too much still don't worry um, you could just wash the excess of the color away because watercolors uh, are allowing to do that okay so play with this find your sharp corners and apply gradients and I'm going to speed up a video a little bit I'm giving you only suggestions I'm sharing with you my working uh, process and definitely none of it is a mandatory if you are satisfied with your work at some point or if you want to add some other techniques of course you are more than welcome I always give all full creative freedom to my students okay but uh, my aim is to give you new tools so that you could experiment and then you might uh, want to modify them uh, and then in, in your own unique way. It's all up to you. All right. I actually wonder if I really managed to create a word in Arabic or not. I don't speak this language, unfortunately, but I'm actually thinking about learning it. So my Arabic speakers, is there any specific word that I actually um, spontaneously, abstractively uh, wrote? I'm very, very curious to see what you will create. I encourage you not to be shy and to uh, show your results in my Facebook group. It's called Abissima Open Studio. All the links are underneath this video. My Facebook group is something I'm really proud of because I uh, 
have most fantastic members and students there. People are very, very helpful. Atmosphere is very, very nice. And yes, it is my happy place. Each time I go to my group and see works of my students, it makes my heart sing and uh, it is very a happy place. So please don't be shy, enjoy and show your results because this uh, will become a real learning curve because people might you know, answer your questions, I might answer your questions, my assistants, and um, this way you will you know, gain more knowledge and more experience, okay? And it's always nice you know, to find like-minded people around the globe. Also, I always like giving my YouTubers um, a nice discount uh, to my paid classes. So please check out links below this video. There are links to my free and paid classes in my online school. This school helped thousands of people around the globe to find, you know, um, to find their creative potential and to find their unique style and um, my courses are created the way that uh, even if you have no experience at all if you never never even held a brush in your hand you could still by following my instructions you could still um, create something very very impressive with a lot of wow factors well this is it now this is it and i think i've created some really really cool oriental uh artwork of course there's so many so many directions there's so many interesting ideas and styles i think i could develop it to a whole series of um artworks mixed media artworks uh, inspired by my visit to Dubai. I encourage you to go to this place too because you will be amazed with fantastic innovations and designs that you could see everywhere because the best of the best uh, specialists in all kind of fields came to Dubai and created their masterpieces whether it's architecture or interior design or whatever you can only imagine. Okay so yes open your mind open your heart travel get inspired and then create something really impressive so my work is done and i am i just took out all the masking tape now a tip for you in order to keep paper in a good shape you could warm up the areas with masking tape and then to take them off so i really like what i've designed i really like that uh, it is very oriental and ornament part looks very very beautiful and uh, the horizon is interesting it looks kind of like um, how should I put it um, like some kind of a village oh my goodness that's my face so I hope you enjoyed this class I can't wait to see you in my group and in my school come visit me happy creating it was Maria Grossbaum from Abissima and uh yes please 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 i can't wait to see your results don't hesitate to ask me any questions or maybe you can even tip me there is a dollar sign underneath this video so any questions you have i'll be super happy to answer um, underneath this video or in my uh, studio or use my email whatever you like it is easy to find me everywhere kisses and happy Aiding Maria Rosmar was here with you. <laughs>